What do you make of how this is unfolding? <laughs> well, I'm surprised, frankly. Um, I expected uh, Vice President to do quite a bit better than he seems to be doing tonight. Um, frankly, I think it's partly a, a mentality in the East Coast. It's somewhat similar to the mentality in the Hillary Clinton campaign that is not really fully realizing and being sufficiently sensitive to working class Americans, especially in the Midwest and other parts of the country. And it's um, a bit surprised at, at this result. I think um, the vice president will still win, but he's it's, it's it's, it's, it's a bit chastised here. Interesting. Um, you know, one of the positions of the vice president that's that's been criticized is what his relationship would be with China, which you obviously know well as the former ambassador there. What would it look like relative to what it is now? You mean with China? Yeah. Is that your, yeah, okay. Well, I, I've known Joe for a long time. We, I served with Joe in the Senate for 36 years and knew him when I was over in China representing the United States as ambassador to China. Uh, Joe Biden is smart. Um, he's cool. He's calm. He likes to work with the process. Uh, he'll be fair but firm. He won't use his Twitter account. Uh, he'll work with our allies, which uh, Donald Trump uh, has not done. And he'll, he'll stand up to President Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Um, I, I, he will not change uh, current U.S.-China policy very much. The hallmark of his policy, I think, will really be making America really strong economically first. As building up the economy, focusing on COVID, doing what we can to get that behind us, uh, work on the infrastructure in the United States, uh, not only traditional roads and bridges, but also the new technologies of the future, make America strong economically. And that's going to enable him to project a, a foreign policy a much more easily. And China will note that. Uh, China respects strength. One thing I learned when I was in China, China, Chinese respect strength more than do any other people. They smell weakness better than do any other people. So if we're strong, strong in the best sense of the term, they'll respect that. But they've taken advantage of us for so long, haven't they? Where, where has that strength been over they've the last couple of decades minimum? Um, they have taken advantage of us. Um, that's clear. But I'm not going to go back and look in my rearview mirror. I'm just addressing what we need to do uh, going forward. And going forward is working with our allies because uh, they my experience over there in China is when we work together with our allies, we're much stronger. China is good at dividing and conquering. They divide and conquer companies. They divide and conquer countries. They're good at it, and we've let them do that. But I also think that China is a bit of a bully. You stand up to a bully, and um, they back down. And if we stand up, in the best sense of the term, uh, showing that we respect China, but in a way so they've got to respect us, that's going to make a difference. We cannot uh, project an image that we're trying to stop China's rise. That just uh, reinforces... Uh, the, 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 the hawks in China. Uh, frankly, a lot of the Chinese that I talked to in the last several days prefer um, Joe Biden. Why? Because they think that a Joe Biden election will help them, the reformers in China, uh, push back against the hawks in China. And President Xi Jinping is going to be listening to whoever is the stronger. And if Biden's elected on the margin, that's going to tend to strengthen the hands of reformers. And that's going to make it easier for the United States and China to, to work some kind of accommodation. All that said, uh, Mr. Ambassador, does that mean that the China trade war is a thing of the past in a Biden presidency? No, no, it's going to continue for a while. Um, I, I think that it'll take some time um, uh, before a Biden administration will address uh, the tariffs. Uh, there'll be a, an inclination to want to try to back down the tariffs, but um, we're, we're not going to do that until we get a quid pro quo, something from China that is equally important. And we got to be careful. China is pretty good at, at um, playing America. They're good at just, um, uh, just, just not making decisions. They talk a good game, but not, not do what they say they're going to do. One thing I learned when I was over there, it's kind of corny, but I call my three Ps. With the Chinese, you got to be patient, you got to be positive, but persistent. You can't talk down, can't, you can't be critical of them. You can't talk down to anybody, especially the Chinese. We stand up. And I can give examples where the United States did stand up to China and they did back down, but you got to back, you got to stand up so they do back down.